Sophie. Today I'm joined again by Jamie. Hi. And behind the camera we have our sort of producer, Sam. Hey. <laughs> also known as... Hidden Pickaxe. Which is his YouTube channel, which will have videos eventually. Yeah? yeah. Check me out on Twitch. On Twitch. Um, recently we went up to London. Do you want to tell them what we did in London? We went to Lush. Despite the fact I said I wouldn't go to Lush because I can't have baths at the moment, there's enough days in the summer that people are away that I won't make them allergic and I can have baths. So, which Lush did we go to? The Oxford Street one. Which, if you don't know, <laughs> have lots of different products that aren't anywhere else. They're like sort of test them out over in London. It's like their biggest store. It's like three stories, three floors, a basement, the ground floor, and a top floor. And the top floor is pretty much all bath bombs and exciting things. So we got a few things. I didn't spend anywhere near as much as I thought I would. I only spent about 25 pounds, which if you are not English, which most of you probably aren't, um, I was gonna tell you how much that was, but I don't know. You spent a lot more than me. Yeah, yeah I did. Um, but you'll see why in a bit. You didn't get that much more stuff. It's just the no. type of things that you'll see. Yeah, it was quite expensive. Um, so we'll start with the bath bombs. Um, and we've got most of these the same. So we'll start with the ones I think we've got the same. Should we start mm. with this one? Yeah. Okay, now. We both got the Experimenter. That's both true. This is the first Lush video, I think, where I don't actually have it on the screen telling me what the scents are. Because... These aren't on the site, so I can't tell you, so I'm just gonna have to guess. And I actually don't know what this one smells like, I didn't really say. But it is, if I can get it out, so colourful and it's like a big okay. gem. Grab that gem. Mm -hmm. Um Sam's cracking up. Do you know what that's from? No. no. Grab that gem, if you know what that's from, comment below. Um it's all glittery if you can tell. It's all glittery. Jamie's got one too. They smell really weird now. They smell almost smoky, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like they smell like a nice scented sauna. Oh you know yeah, I mean? like yeah. Like a sauna yeah, where it's all smoky and the wood's heated up, but it's also got like nice oils in it. So it doesn't smell like burning wood, obviously, but it's got a, you can smell it if you like, Sam, or we'll show you later. It's got a nice smoky undertone and it's going to explode in all different colours so that's very exciting Ooh, powdery I'll bother putting them away properly afterwards what else did we get? did we both get this one? yeah you've had this one before haven't you? yeah I went just to buy one thing a couple of weeks ago and ended up buying this as well and I used it and it basically made my bath look like space it's called intergalactic I can get it out. Here we go. It looks like this. It's all glittery and kind of looks a little bit like space just there. It's really cool. It smells very fresh and minty, but not like a bit like dirty. It's very fresh minty as opposed to like a peppermint. It's almost like a cleaning supplies minty, but in a good yeah. way. Not chemically, but it's again, it's all glitter if you can. And it goes really it dark out. in the bath. Does like it? It goes a nice sky. rich blue. Mm. It's slightly turquoise, it's coming up more blue on the camera, but it is a little bit turquoisey. So that's very exciting. Ooh. Oh goodness. Oh, this is, you can be our official producer because <laughs> on the ball. Um, did we both, we didn't both no, get that one. No, you got that one. We both got this one. Yes. This one's cool. This one I was a bit umming and ahhing about buying. The only one that I thought, actually there are a few I thought I was going to buy that I didn't buy. A couple of the green ones, they had um, Guardians of the Forest. But it smelled too much like just grass, which wasn't very nice. And the cyanide pill looked great, but it smelled so almondy it didn't smell very nice. This is really lavendery. It's so lavendery. This is Golden Slumbers. Presumably golden because it's... Oh, the white balance doesn't like this one. Um, but no. golden because it, it is. You can't really see it, but it's glittery and it's golden. Um, and slumbers because it's lavender. So this will be great just before you go to bed. Again, this is quite a big one. All these sort of exclusive ones were quite large. Yeah. The bubble bars, I got a couple. 
one of them is exactly the same as one in stores, but it's differently shaped, and I'm pretty sure it's like twice the size. So they seem to have gone for size. But that one's really nice. Very, very lavender -y. Um And we both got this one, did we? Yeah. This is the last one that we both got, and then we, I think, all the other products we got were different. different. And this one's quite exciting. Um, this one, I've seen the colour it goes. This is Yoga Bomb, and it just looks bright orange on the outside, but I'm pretty sure it's blue on the inside. So, ooh, getting all powdery. And it's not, it's a little bit glittery, but I think that might be just because of the other products. How does this smell? Going everywhere. Um, I don't know what the smell is. Say? It doesn't say, does it? Um, I've ripped my label in half, so. Unfuel. No, unfurl. Woody. Olibanum. Olibanum. Howard. It's sort of woody, but. It's for deep In a nice, fresh smell, not like a grassy smell, which I don't really like. So. All the stuff That's I got. That's really good. That, this is currently on the kitchen. Although this will probably go out about a week or two after we've filmed it. Probably about a week. I need to upload that um, tasting one, which you should have seen the week before this, ideally. If not, tell me off, because my uploading schedule is terrible. Um, but look in the kitchen, because some of these products they're making in the kitchen, like one off, and you can have them sent to you if you can't get up to London. Um, should we start then with my products that I got, just mine? I got one more bath bomb. Like I said, I was going to get cyanide pill, but I didn't. And I didn't get any of the products. I don't think I got any of the products that you can normally get, um, unless they were similar but slightly different in this shop. I didn't get any standard ones, because I could just go get those in the city next over from us. But this is called Frozen, and you can probably see why. It's got that very, the white balance is great for our faces, not so great for the lighter bath bombs. Um, it's like a very pale blue here. Let's see if I can get it to work a bit better. Very pale blue here, a darker blue here. What does it smell of? You put powder on the end of your nose. I can't figure out what it smells of. Let me see. It smells like old people. But... Off their nose. It smells of... Toilet tissues. It smells fresh, but in, again, in a good way. It's one of those weird ones that'll be sort of refreshing and relaxing. And you'd <coughs> I'm inhaling some of the some of the powder. It's a very powdery one, but it looks very glittery, and it make the bath a nice blue glittery colour, and you can feel like Elsa. So, ooh, blah 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 blah. My hands are all blue. There's a lot of blue products. I got also, we'll do all of mine I think, um, a couple of bubble bars and both of these are available in stores but they look different to how they are in normal stores. So this first one I got is creamy candy and I love the smell, you've had creamy candy haven't you, I gave you a bit I think. Oh uh, yeah, like, yeah. I love the smell of creamy, this is so creamy. <laughs> I love the smell of creamy candy but it's so pale, I'm just adjusting. It's so pale, the colour, that it doesn't make the bath very exciting. It's like a very pale pink. But in this London store, it's this colour. And it's... The, the, that's blue in the centre. You can't tell that. I'm going to try and... Ah, you can tell a little bit better. I've adjusted the white balance slightly. Ah, move! Don't block the sun. <laughs> um, it's bright, hot pink. Smells exactly like it does, I think, yeah. in the store. Kind of like Snow Fairy, but a little bit sweeter, I think. A bit more candy floss than Snow Fairy. Um, so that will be fun, and it should hopefully make my bath a really lovely colour, unlike the other one, which was just... Smelled amazing, looked really boring. So I'll run through these, because if you... The smells and stuff, you should already know. Um, the only other one I got, which I was tempted to get even if it was just the same, because I love this one. It's my favourite bubble bar. This is Yuzu and Coco, which is like a tiny little macaroon thing. Like this big, and I, I just split it into two. It's in it's in my mini Lush haul video. I've got like 
seasonal ones. I've also just got a mini one from about this time last year, so go and look at that if you want to see what it looks like normally. Or just, I've got a Lush playlist if you want to look like what a lot of products look like normally. Um, I'm bam bat there. I'm rambling. This is Yuzu and Coco in Oxford Street, oh, and it's like twice the size, because like I said, Yuzu and Coco I just put into two. This I reckon I could put into three, probably four. In fact, I think I will put this into four, and I'll just cut it in quarters, as opposed to I just literally took it in half along the seam. It smells just like Yuzu and Coco. Can you smell it? Yeah, it's, it's very, very strong. It's mm. coconutty with like tropical, punchy undertones. Uh, it's slightly more citrusy, I think, than the normal yeah. one, yeah, which I like. One. It's definitely got that sort of mangoey, orangey, like a tropical, citrusy cocktail with coconut. So that's very exciting. I got one more product, and I also got a sample, but we'll do those at the end. Oh. One more product. Um, I've never had fun before. In general, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never had fun. I've never had the product fun because I found they all have this sort of plasticky undertone to all the smells. If I was going to get one, I'd get the pink one, but it, again, it smells kind of like plasticine underneath, and that's kind of what it is like bath plasticine. If you don't know what fun is, you can use it as a bubble bar, as a shower gel, like a solid shower gel, as a solid shampoo. And you can also mould it, it's kind of like Play-Doh or plasticine, but you can use it in the bath. But they've all got really crap smells, but they had some special ones in Oxford Street that some of them are seasonal, some of them seasonal, but they were just doing them at Oxford Street all year round, or they're special ones just for Oxford Street. And I got the gold fun, and I was looking at them going, oh, I don't think I'll get fun, I don't like the smells, and I picked this one up, and I think I just turned to you like, this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh... Even now, even through the plastic, it's strong, and that's how you know, because most of them we picked them up, couldn't smell what they smelled like through yeah. the plastic, because they weren't strong enough. They had some orange and purple ones there, which were just Oxford Street. You could smell those, and you could smell this. This smells like um, Honey, I Wash the Kids, if you know that soap. So it's like honey, honey and caramel, and just It's just really goodness. sweet. And it's gold, so it should make the bath like a nice... Probably not too pigmented when you put it in the bath, but a sort of goldy yellow. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I reckon I will just use it as a bubble bar and cut it either into four or maybe five, depending on how good it is as a bubble bar. But that is all my products. So shall we move yeah. on to yours? And you can see um, why Jamie spent so much so more much than more. me. Do you I... want to do the bath bomb first? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. bath bomb. Cool. Um, I got um, the Blackberry bath bomb, is that what it's called? Uh, yeah. Blackberry bath bomb, that's a simple um, name. But you can get this in the normal shops, but I've never got it before. It's exactly the same. This is the only product I think all of us oh. pretty much got that is the same in all, all the stores. Yeah. It smells quite nice. I don't really like Blackberry, but it's not too Blackberry. I've never had this one, so I'll be interested to... Yeah. See how it works out. So basically, all the stuff I get is because my physio told me to take baths because I have a real problem with tension. You've got a medical advisor's reason. reason. <laughs> so um, I have loads of tension when I sing, and because I'm at um, drama school, I need to sing a lot. So I need to relax, which is why I spent a lot of money. Um, I got one of the bath oil melt things. Yeah, instead of melt. Which one's this? Is this this is Melting Marshmallow. If you know Melting Marshmallow from the normal sauce, it's quite big. It's like this big and like circular on top, about that thick. And it looks like a big marshmallow, a big pink marshmallow, and it melts into your bath like a bath melt. They had this big store, stall of just bath okay. oils, which I think they're trying to put in to replace the melts because they're discontinuing Melting Marshmallow moments as well. Um, and they're really tiny, but they're very concentrated oils. I've seen some demos, and Jamie used them before. Yeah, sorry, I can't get it out of the packet. It will, it will melt yeah, everywhere. There. Yeah, there. It's tiny. They're really good for your skin, but they look really boring, so I'm quite disappointed. Um, and the one I used before, they gave me for free. I didn't pay for it. Um, but it, um, it looked really like it didn't do anything. Um, it smelled um, really fresh, like oranges, but um, it stained my bath, so I didn't buy any more. Fortunately. 
Yeah, I, I didn't buy any because none of them smelled amazing and they were just so tiny they weren't going to be very exciting at all. Yeah. They're just good for your skin and, you know, I want something a bit exciting because I don't really have a problem with dry skin, so, yeah. Um, the next thing I got was fun as well, but this was a Monsters and Alien version. Um, and I got it again because it smells great through the packet. Um, and it smells like Lord of Misrule, um, which smells amazing. So that's why I wanted it. <laughs> um, I and just got a battery yeah. thing. Go away. Carry on. And we both said that we weren't going to get any of the fun when we got there because <laughs> we didn't really like the idea of it before. But um, we smelt them and we're like, we have to get both them. Both got one. <laughs> um, and um, then... Oh, also, right. just say with that one, it comes in three colours because you're meant to like build kids anyway. I meant to, you can see the faces. I'll just move it closer for you. I meant to build like fun aliens. So like the snowman one came with a big thing of white, a little bit of orange and black, so you could build a snowman as well. So. Um, the next thing I got was the 93,000 miles shower jelly, which I cut up into weird cubes um, and just used them like that. Um, and it's really good for sore muscles and things. Um, so because of all the dance. Um, it smells like wicky wacky. Really the yeah. massage bar. And you said you get a lot of uses out of that. Yeah, I got one cube at the moment and I've been using it for like a week and it still hasn't disappeared, so it lasts a long time. <laughs> um, and on to the things that cost, cost you all that money. An awful lot, yeah. Um, I got a Lord of Misrule shower cream. Shower cream. Shower cream. Um, which smells exactly like the bath bomb. Which comes out at Halloween, by the way. Which is why I, I had believe to buy this. it's in my Halloween haul if you want to see it. So. Um, and it smells amazing um, and it feels really good, but it's very, very creamy, like uh, runny, um, so it's not like a shower gel. Um, so I really want to thicken it up, but I can't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to read this one. Ooh. Get down and earthy with this mischievous herbal blend. Add a little spice to your shower with black pepper and patchouli oils and a dash of fair trade vanilla absolute to keep it sweet. It is quite sweet smelling. It's not yeah. like, if it, I think it was just pepper and patchouli, that would be like spicy, crazy stuff. It smells gorgeous. Um, I, I don't buy these sort of, the bottled creams and shower gels because of Jamie's problem in that. So they expensive. cost a lot for, you know, you could spend a quarter and get, the same thing somewhere else so. obviously they don't smell quite as good um so they are kind of worth it but for me i just i buy so many bath bombs i can't buy these ridiculous expensive bottles and the, this is only the, this is the second smallest size yeah there are two, two bigger sizes ones. bigger than this and this was like 10 pounds, 10 pounds yeah. so um the last two things i got were both shower gels and i had to get them because i'm a really stagey person and they both have musical references in them um, so this one is called Beautiful, um, which is after the Carol King song or musical. Um, and it smells really peachy. And I think it's just a really nice, it just wakes you up. Ooh, that is nice. The sun's gone behind the clouds and you can't see us very well. <laughs> but um, I won't adjust it because it will probably be back in a minute. Do you want to read that one as well? Um, it's lyrics to the song, basically. Um, you've got to get up every morning with a smile on your face with a little helping hand from this shower gel. Um, and that's very true. It is really, it's quite citrusy and peachy, as I said, so it really does just kind of wake you up. Um, and it is really nice. I mean, it's much thicker than the shower cream. So it feels like you're actually washing yourself properly. <laughs> and this is only 100 grams and it's, you can see it's quite small. And I have, I have small hands. And how much was this one? £4.50. So it's... I mean, for four pounds fifty, yeah. you could get like a t like a two hundred and fifty bottle, yeah. of in most stores. So the good thing with these, though, again, like I say about a lot of the products, they last a long time. Like I've used this, I think, three times now, and it doesn't look like I've used it once. Mm. So because you don't need very much of it at all, um, so they do last. Okay. Um, and the last thing I got was uh, wash that man right out of your hair. My um, hair which is a South Pacific reference, which is why I had to get it again. Um, and this one's, again, really fruity. Um, I think it's got like guava and things in it, so it's really nice, again. Um, yeah. And I was really stressed this morning and I used this in the shower and I felt much better afterwards. <laughs> um, so I don't know how they do it, but it's really de-stressing. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah.
And they, the gels as well are like proper gels. They're not like the creams that no. are like so liquidy. It's, they're a bit frustrating to use. Yeah. So you were just going to buy one when you went in. Yeah. And then you were like, oh, I'll buy two little ones and pick one. And you're like, actually, I'm going to get a little one and a big one. Yeah. So this is why you spent like twice really as much as me. <laughs> Um, yeah. Shall we finish with samples? Yeah. Um, should we start with yours? Because you've got more than me. Yeah. Um, two. Yeah, this one. Um, like this I always one. say, Lush are great with generous samples, and I always get soaps. I never, I will never have to buy soap again because I buy enough of their products that I get a fair amount of soap samples, and they're they're like small, but you could probably buy soap this big in an actual shop. So. How, actually, they've got the size on them. This is... The one I've got is £2.30 worth. Two, like, currency pounds for Americans, not weight. £2.30 worth of soap. And you £1. can 20. buy a £5 block of soap. And so. um, this is called Layer Cake. It's got more colours than this on the actual one as well, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it's red and blue as well. Um, and it's, again, really fruity. Um... Really nice. I got it because it smelled like alcohol. <laughs> it's more translucent than it's appearing on the camera. You can really see through it, and it's like a cocktail. Yeah. It smells like a cocktail, actually. It smells more like a cocktail now I'm out the shop. I think I was overwhelmed yeah, yeah. by the sweetness uh, yeah. of the shop. And Jamie likes cocktails. So. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, and the other one it's as creamy. well. It's creamy. My hands are really Ooh. soft. Um, this one was the Respect Your Elders one. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I don't even think I smelt this one, so I don't know what this one is like. No, I don't remember what it was like. This at wasn't all. the one in a big pole. Some of them were in like big. They had huge bits of soap, like bigger than they have in normal stores, like hung on the ceiling. These huge blocks of soap, and they cut little bits off. Oh, I remember this. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that one actually. It looks like this. What does it smell like? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Can you describe it? Um, Again, it's very creamy. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't describe it. Fair enough. Um, oh, goodness. It's over. All my videos with you are, like, so long. This one's over 20 minutes, and I don't think I'm going to be able to cut it because I haven't found a, a proper place to cut it. Do you know what that's um, like? Get the producer in. No. No, no he's got no idea. One of those lollipops you can get down the road. It smells like a lollipop, apparently. Mm. I don't know. It smells like something. Strawberry yeah. cream or something. Yeah. Or raspberry. It's really nice. <laughs> We're a bit lighter. The sun seems to have gone away. So, should we do the very final thing we got between the two of them was I got a sample. If I can open it. I can't open it. This is sea salted caramel, and I instantly tweeted oh. Kai, like, they've got a salted caramel soap, and it smells like salted caramel, and it's amazing. It smell really good. It's so, it's very, it's got salt on the top, so it's very crumbly. But, ah, oh, this bit especially. This yeah. is what it looks like. It kind of looks like salted caramel. The oh. big block of it is like this thick, but then the soap in the middle is like this because it's got all the crumbly all stuff around all the way the edge. outside. Which I might cut off because I don't really, don't really want it. Oh, it does smell really good. Yeah, there's salt all over the floor. I have to clean this up. Okay, so that's an amazing game. I'm going to try and wrap this up. I might have to split this in two. So if there's awkward cuts and this starts weirdly, it's because I've split it in two. But that smells amazing as well. And I'm really glad that we decided to sort of go up and just grab some things. Yeah, definitely. So, Jamie will be able to go more often because he's sort of moving slightly near. Yeah. Bye. When you go to school. In October. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you're a big fan of Lush, we definitely recommend you go up to Oxford Street and you get some of their products. Because um, they are exclusive and... They might, they're sort of bringing them in and out. They might not be around the same time next year. If they don't do well, they won't remake them. So, yeah, it's very exciting. Um, thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye.